Hi there. Hmm. For the rabbit, I want to preface my rabbit video by stressing that these stars are not prophetic. They are neither promises, nor guarantees, nor ultimatums, right? We have human agency. We have choice. Annual forecast stars are just telling us that these are what has been given to us in a, within a certain time frame, in this case, a year. What we do with these energies is really up to us, right? The rabbit is heading towards a rather slow and steady year in 2024. So how can we get lucky? Okay, before we go there, let me quickly introduce myself, right? Um, thank you for watching. My name is Pauline Cheng and I am a Patsu and Feng Shui practitioner and I use Chinese metaphysics to empower, not to disempower. And I'd certainly appreciate if you take a second to subscribe, smash the notification bell and don't forget to like this video too, okay? Thanks for that. Okay, so you were Grand Duke. 2023. Some rabbits I know had a fantastic year. One of my friends will not stop uh, uh, messaging me on Facebook. Oh, I want this award. I want that award. I want this. I want that. Recognition after recognition followed by accolades and opportunities. Some rabbits reveled in the limelight. Others maybe didn't enjoy it that much. So now comes 2024, I think. Here, when you watch other social media sharings for the rabbit, you will hear a lot of diverging opinions. All will agree that the stars in the rabbit are not great. But the onward analysis and interpretation will depend on the practitioner's view of life, cup half full or half empty. So your Grand Duke is leading towards the surpassing path. This star, is supposed to bring you opportunities to improve your social status. It's supposed to represent another upward trajectory. So I can hear you literally asking like, wait a minute. In the past, you've always classified surpassing path as a positive star. Why is it different now? Why is it black? The surpassing path is a neutral star. In the presence of positive stars, it turns positive. It can represent breakthrough. But when it comes together with sickness and goat blade, it carries health warnings. In this case, the most obvious reason putting all three together is burnout. Okay. You may have overtaxed your physical capabilities in 2023. Sickness star is a minor health uh, issues. Poor health, poor immune system, you know, you're suddenly more susceptible to the uh, running nose, all this, all these small illnesses. What happens when we feel physically unwell though? Kill the goat blade, right? This, uh, this <laughs> bad mood, short tempered, short fuse, irritable, basically, not pleasant to deal with, which inevitably leads to the sixth harm, right? This brings a feeling of betrayal. Either I feel that my body has betrayed me or maybe it's the other way around, or I may have taken on more than I can chew, more than I can handle. My plate is uh, too, too damn full. And uh, with all this together, um, that's a word for it, it's called ennui. Okay, listlessness, boredom, no motivation. Six harm is uh, likes to complain, always complaining, right? Uh, I gone too cold, I gone too hot, and you know, all that kind of stuff. So still on the negative star, if I look at this from a psychological point of view, in 2023, the rabbit was reveling in the limelight, remember? So suddenly the spotlight is switched off. No more attention, like what the hell just happened? Okay, are we experiencing a blackout, right? Kill the goat blade and frightened goat together. Some plotters will show the presence of the frightened goat. These two together creates main character syndrome. Okay, acting out to get attention, feeling betrayed because uh, the, everybody is no longer paying attention. So where's the solution? Okay, your one positive star, the rest got. And this enhances your ability to rejuvenate and replenish your energy if you decide to work with it. The rest God talks about being aware of how you nourish your body, mind and spirit. This can counter the burnout, the low energy, the, pure, the poor immune system. This is permission to chill and Netflix, right? Can we tell exactly what could trigger the negative stars? Yes, but for that, please check out our annual Hack My 2024. 
Okay, and uh, let's move on to the next slide because I don't want you to hang up on this all right, for too long. It will, it, will, it will implant negative seeds in everyone's mind. Okay, let's move on. Right, so the pace is noticeably slower. Right, possible. This is special for the rabbit. Okay, no other guys get this. Okay, pace is slower. It's a year of rest and consolidation. 2024 is a time to consolidate all the grounds you gained in 2023 into something that is sustainable. Can also be a year to focus on self care. So, let's talk about how to get lucky. Okay, I can hear your question. Are you kidding me, Pauline? You're talking about getting lucky in the rabbit video. This is exactly the right video to talk about getting lucky. Puzzle practitioners like myself frequently face this question. When will I get lucky? When? As if being lucky is something external that comes in. Let me tell you when you'll get lucky. When your internal energy is radiating upwards. When your internal energy level is high. That's when you attract opportunities to you. Somehow, they just show up. When your energy level is high, there's a strong chance you won't even feel these negative stars, right? So that's your mission. That's the rabbit's, mi rabbit's mission for 2024, to increase my energy level so that I don't feel this at all, okay? Otherwise, what you could do, well, practice some Tai Chi or Qi Gong, right? These are the two that I know of that can effectively improve your Qi level, okay? Because I'm not talking about toxic positivity here, okay? I'm talking about improving quietly, improving the internal Qi flow so that you become stronger, healthier, and all that good stuff, right? And besides, right, relax with the rest relax when was the last time you danced like nobody is watching that kind of energy okay so what about rabbit in the year okay if it's in the year actually i think it's not so bad because the year pillar governs industry social network social media your market basically other people so through the lens of social media, a lot of whining, grumbling, complaining, maybe a good idea, maybe to temporarily unplug from the matrix or, or uh, uh, use social media less. But before you do that, please share my video first, okay? So uh, maybe even friends falling ill that you may have to visit them. Uh, year pillar also governs our family elders uh, like grandparents. Of course, if you are my age, my grandparents have long since left. But if you are younger, may want to be more vigilant about their health, encourage them to be more active. For example, you be their rescot. Uh, but if you're a doctor, physician or healer, your market has the weak sickness star. Good for business or not? If you're in the business of teaching energy healing, qigong or tai chi, should you be promoting your skills? Yes. <laughs> Because the market is interested in what you have to offer, right? Similarly, if you're in the rest and recuperation business, right? Should you be marketing? Hell yes, right? So you see, one person's poison could be another person's medicine, okay? Wrap it in the month pillar. As mentioned, this is a year to consolidate all your growth from the previous year. It's the time to take the work backstage and focus on creating systems that will help you maintain sustainable growth. Just as the year pillar can represent our grandparents, month pillar can also represent our parents. But remember, this is not an ultimatum. My chart, my perspective. So what this says is that from my perspective, my parents are getting on in age and getting weaker. So now I want to be a good daughter or son and be more vigilant about their health. I will monitor their well-being and be their rest god. Can we do that? Of course. Okay. So what about rabbit in the day? Okay, either yourself, you yourself is experiencing burnout or your significant other. In either case, permission to chill and Netflix, right? More importantly, be more mindful about how you nourish your body, mind and soul. In uh, 2024, uh, the message would be, let me focus on getting my energy up again. I think that's a more productive way of using this task as opposed to everyday complaint. Like Goldilocks, the porridge is too hot, porridge is too cold, okay? the chair is too hard, chair is too soft, all kinds of complaints. So see, the day pillar can also represent your physical body. So if the energy level is not high, no matter what great stars you have outside in the year or the month, no matter what, 
right? You may not have the energy to go out and grab it. So prioritize self-healing first for both yourself and your significant other. Okay, what about the rabbit in the hour? Okay, okay. The, all the above stars can be summed up also in a single word, ennui. Listlessness, boredom, dissatisfaction arising from a lack of occupation or excitement. In Malaysia and Singapore, we have a slang for this feeling, siena, right? Ho siena, right? Procrastination at its best. So how can we break out of, it, of this ennui mindset? We try new things, though. We learn new things. Because of the presence of the gold blade, be wary of uh, reckless decision making where investments are concerned. This is, uh, gold blade is very knee jerk, right? So be careful of your knee jerk reactions. This is the year to be very strategic and long term about investment decisions. And of course, in terms of uh, family relationships, the hour pillar represents the younger members of your household. Again, uh, a time to be more strategic about what the family consumes. Okay, so <clears throat> the pace gets slower for the rabbit in 2024, but seriously, I mean, I, I know it's not fantastic. I wish there's better news to share, but it's not terrible. Basically, like the tiger, you don't have external support, but when I don't have external support, I do it myself. I use this time wisely, I prepare, I lay the groundwork, consolidate, manage my resources, right? But if you want more, well, we could either have a conversation, you and me, hit me up for a conversation, right? You, uh, my booking link is in the video description. Alternatively, join myself, Charmaine and Jonas in our annual Hack My 2024. I keep pointing to the wrong side. Okay, Hack My 2024, where we will be sharing a ton of information uh, from Ba Zi, Qimen and Feng Shui, effectively connecting heaven, earth and man. Sign up link is also in the video description, so do check it out. And I hope to see you in our event, right? This could bring additional information for you, right? Because, hey, when the Ba Zi has bad news, we look elsewhere, we look at Feng, uh, Qimen, we look at Feng Shui, right? But first, how about a little help from our friends? Okay, if we don't have positive stars of our own, the first thing that is easily done, I go and borrow from other people. Bro. So if I need authority, I go and borrow from the pig. All right? If I want crazy ideas, the goat is your guy. Okay? If I need uh, wisdom, then the dog. Okay? So for real, let's wrap up for now. So here's me wishing the rabbit, regardless of what has been given to you, may 2024 be a year of strategic and sustainable growth for you. Until I see you in the next video, have a great day ahead.